Hi folks, Winkle here. Mission 5, the Blue Nose Bastards of Bodney campaign by Reflective Simulations. Okay, so today I am leading the whole flight of eight Mustangs. We are taking two 500 pound bombs each and we will be bombing Bayer, which is unfortunate because it's a lovely little town, but nevertheless we've got to do what we've got to do. These are the headings, however, I like to come in from this side because there's a navigational stream here and there's airfields around here because that's the main problem I find is actually finding Bayer. So I like to come in from this side and I find there's less flak from this side as well. And then turn this way. And if you look at the picture of Bayer, to me, and this is how my brain works guys, this looks like a chicken laid out. Head up here, two wings, both legs before you have it for Sunday lunch. So this is where the rail yard is, down here on the left rear leg. Okay, so if we look back this way, we're going to come down here, we're going to follow this little river down, and then where it turns off south, we carry on. But there are two airfields here. So if we have a look at the mission planner, we will see. This is the most important bit of the mission for me, is the planning stage. So if we look at Bayer, if we come down this way, it's quite hard to find, even though you have got this distinctive airfield here, to be fair. I prefer to come over here. Follow the river down. We've got all these airfields to see. We follow the river down between these two, and it's pointing directly at the part of Bayer that you want, and then it goes off to the south. And we want the rear left leg of the chicken. Okay, before we have it for Sunday lunch. And they're the railway carriages that we want to hit. Very, very important. Now I find there's quite a lot of flak over here. If we come down this way at 12,000 feet, that's the way we're going to attack. Well, guys, see you in the cockpit. Let's get cracking. Just asked our pilot to depart for a minute. We'll just put our radio on now. Working right to left. Battery and generator on. Let's have our mags on. We've got our left fuel tank selected to start with, which is OK. Fuel booster, booster on. we put our RPM full, take our throttle to one inch, make sure our brakes work. I'll just use my tow brakes because the amount of times I've used my parking brake, been heads down and then realised I'm taxiing off across the runway. Um, or smashing into something, so we just do that. OK, so our radio is on, so I'll just call for... Start up. One, one. Got some nice Request detail here with these trucks driving past. Springfield one one. Clear for startup. Wind three zero zero at three meters per second. Right, so we give six seconds on the primer, and then we give an engine Flip start. Sure that's in run, otherwise we'd have problems later, which it is, and we monitor our RPM, no more than 1200 at this stage. Okay, so we want to be airborne at 6 o'clock, 1800. I'm going to form up 3000 feet over the airfield at 5 past. So let's bring our flaps up, they're coming up nicely, sides. We'll have six degrees of right rudder, just as so. We've got bombs on, so we're going to just bring ourselves two degrees nose heavy. That's all fine. Right, so now we're going to select our bombs. I want to be doing it in the air. Both. That's fine, we'll have our gun sight on and we'll switch, keep doing that the wrong way, we'll switch to our rear tank. Definitely want to get rid of the fuel in here first, otherwise it flies like an absolute pig in a dogfight, as you guys will know. I prefer to have that on fi uh, fixed and gyro. Apart from that, we're all good, so we're waiting to come up to 60 degrees Celsius. Would have been centigrade back then. Same thing, effectively. This is above 15. We're all good. Obviously, as you guys know, we fly the engine in the Mustang, not the aeroplane.
Right, okay, so now I'm going to request taxi. Springfield, 1-1. One, one. Request taxi to runway. Let's get our knee board sorted. Springfield, 1-1. One, one. Clear to taxi to runway 35. Yeah, taxi, runway 35 to Springfield, 1-1. One, one. We're not infield, 1-1. One, one. Okay, so let's let these guys go first. It's a time, a couple of minutes. Lock our tail wheel by putting our stick back. Check our temperatures and pressures. Yeah, they're all good. We're ready to taxi and take off. Okay, let's go after this guy. You guys know, but you don't wear full left right. I'm going to be using the left tow brake just to ease it round. Obviously, we're sticking our head out of the side to make sure we don't fly into anything, taxi uh, into anything, I should say. Got a curve on my tow brakes to use it also flying DCS just to uh, make things a little bit smoother see if I can do a bit better take off than I did last time Springfield 1-1 one, one, cleared for take off Right, well I'm not in a rush to kill myself, so what we're going to do is shut the canopy. We'll have our gun heat and pito heat on. We'll also have 10 degrees of flap down. Okay, brakes are on. RPM is set to full. 35 inches of manifold pressure. Brakes released. Stick is fully back. Gradually increase the throttle. At 50 miles an hour, I'll start bringing the stick forward. Stick is now in a neutral position. Bring it up to full throttle. Hand is on the gear up button. Gear up. In transition. Gear is up. He's back on the RPM, back to 2700. Just going into a left hand orbit. Watch that engine temperature, it's on the red line, that's fine on takeoff. As long as we come right away. Keep our airspeed up, that's what's going to cool our engine down. 46 inches of manifold pressure, 2700 RPM. Got a positive rate of climb. Need to trim the aircraft out. Have to trim. Step on the ball, step on the ball. Yeah. Alright, let's have our mirror down. There's the airfield, so we're going to climb up to 3,000 feet for five past. No rush, no rush. That's on feet a minute, we're at 1,000 feet now. Let's check our temperatures, yep, let's come back down into the green straight away. Aircraft is trimmed. A little bit more climb, we've got two minutes before we form up. Right, okay. So let me firstly select to my guys and then we're gonna flight redraw formation. I don't believe there's a oh, there's another here, this is what we want. Let's see. Rejoin. I want. Transport that. aircraft, rejoin. It's important to get them Roger. all together. Rejoining formation. So they just keep circling the base. Coming up to 2,000 feet. Bring our flaps up. 
hear someone on my wing, there he is. Right. And then we want to head on 193. Four minutes past. With a little bit more climbs, on about 3,000 feet. Hit 193, we'll be heading off and soon climb over the coast. Two and a half thousand feet. Four minutes past. Good, we're on time, we're on schedule. 270, just passed through. Let's place last check in with Deepsake Control. Transport leader to sweepstake, airborne with eight Mustangs. Roger. Turn to 193 and proceed to the target area. Nine three. Transport leader to sweepstake. Roger. Turning 193. Over. Right, okay, so now I need to trim the aircraft out on 193. As you can see, I need a lot of left trim there. Trim that out. It's fine. Did forget to uncage my artificial horizon, but that shouldn't be a problem. Right. I hear someone. There it is. That's cool. Right, so I want to climb not so massively important. I haven't got that laborious climb up to try and meet with the bombers. We're only going to 12,000 feet. Let's trim up. 46 inches of manifold pressure at 2,700 RPM up to about 5,000 feet, it's about 170 miles an hour that gives us should be at 2,000 feet a minute that's over, that's 2,200 so but good enough for government work guys At least I've got one guy, oh here we go. All good. Let's just give another rejoin on the special F10 menu. Transport aircraft rejoin. Roger, rejoining formation. Right, what we got here. Not quite on heading, but the aircraft sorted so. Temperatures and pressures are okay. It's coming up to six thousand feet. Nine five. Right, well, when we get there, we can see where we are anyway. Climb by as accurately as possible. Left rudder, left trim. Right, so that's my guys there. Our little four flight. Just need the other guys to join with me. They're a little late of us. Previously, I've no moment just to keep circling in the other airfield. We'll see. Come back a little bit, trying to maintain that line. thousand feet. So as long as we're running at 46 inches of manifold pressure, just increase that obviously as we gain altitude then and we're at 2700 rpm, the engine will be fine. We're on our rear fuel tank, we've got our bombs selected. 
everything's good. I'm ready to go. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack and then I'm going to stay low. I'm going to come in from 12,000 feet. Probably going to drop my bombs off about three, two and a half, three thousand feet. Uh, we'll see how accurate I am, but this gun sight here is 50 mils across just over. I want to drop the bombs about 100 mils. But just below the nose will be the target. Uh, we'll see how accurate it is when we look in the debrief. Um, and obviously I'm going to be motoring, so as I, as I turn in to the target, I'll be throttled to idle. Then I'll get to 3,000 feet, there or thereabouts. Drop my bombs with the target just here, just under the nose. And then I'll gradual pull out, so I don't overstress the aircraft. And keep low for a while, because that will present a flak, um, less of a target. And then I'll climb up when I'm safe. Faith being a relative term. Acorn Lizard sweepstake, airborne with eight Mustangs, over. Sweepstake to Acorn Leader, Roger. We have no contact yet, but enemy air activity is likely in the area of Con. Proceed with caution. Over. Acorn Leader to sweepstake, acknowledged. Two there. There's at least four of us. It's coming up to ten thousand feet. The desert pressures are good. Laps are up. One, two, three, there we go. Excellent. So the boys are catching me up. Right. Come to 11,000 feet. Aircraft is trimmed. Look at that. Look at us. Well, coming to 12,000 feet, let's just ease our nose down. We'll leave our throttle to where it is because we want to be fast. Obviously, we'll have to re trim as we nose down, speed will increase to 12,000, it does it, Let's see where the aircraft settles and then I'll retrim. So our heading, 193. hands off as possible. That's good, that's hands off now. Enough for government work. Adrenaline's starting to go, I'm getting sweaty palms. I fly accurately. Bombs up there. Let's just check out the Jager Vision's working. We may well need that to get involved in any dog fights, but the ground targets I'm going to try and find without putting labels on. So I'm off slightly off heading there. We need to be careful with a Mustang at this altitude because most of our advantage is at high altitude with the second stage of the supercharger. 
second stage isn't on, as you can see, the light's not on. It normally comes in about 14,000 feet, depending on air pressure. So we've got to be careful if we get caught in any dog fights, we need to really keep fast. Now the other alternative, if you can't find the target, is to follow your guys in. You tell them to engage primary, then you can literally follow those guys in, which is cool. 46, the re trim, a bit of right trim, a bit more power. A little bit higher now. doesn't get any better than that look at that awesome Let's check our rear, rear fuel tank. Yeah, 10 gallons in there. Let's switch. It's fine, we've got plenty in these. on heading in a few degrees that's where we were bombing the other day bring that nose down a little bit Second, lost. Right, enemy coast ahead. Adrenaline's going. Feet. A trim, just wipe my hand on my overalls.
but I put the fires out. Kept them busy if nothing else. This is the most difficult bit for me, I don't know about you guys, is uh, finding the actual target. Slightly high. Not that anybody's going to tell anybody. This ground fog is quite hard to see, so is that a river coming in front of us? The fog would naturally wander out around there, probably, shouldn't assume anything. But if that's the main river going in, we should be looking at something around here. We'll see when we get closer. Good line out, 12,000 feet, we're good. Uh, heading doesn't really matter now. Mark one eyeball time, this is. New Grove leader to sweep stage, check it out, return to base, over. Roger. Right, is that the little river there? Yeah? that then goes off down there. I know that's only fog, but... So there should be airfields all around it. That's our secondary confirmation. And then it passes between two that are, that are pointing nearly directly at Bay Earth. And then we want the left rear chicken leg. Good. Bombs are selected on both. Double check. Check out that fuel tank. Lows, no point swapping over just yet. There's the large river going in there. This is probably our river going in here. Mustn't convince ourselves. And Bayer should be over here, probably somewhere. Because if that goes across that way, you remember from the brief, it then turns south. Which that does. But we could be convincing ourselves here, which means Bayer will be about there. something going on here. Airfield there. Airfield there. Airfield there. Yeah, there the two airfields pointing at Bayer. That's where the river goes off to the left. Okay, we're good. We're good. Excellent. 
Right, so I'm going to follow the river. Just keep roughly and a bit low, I've dropped 500 feet. Right, so what I'm going to do now is just get my light to attack primary target. Transport aircraft, attack primary target. You can go and do what they like. Roger, attacking primary. Right, and then I'll get my light. Engage primary. Good, right now they're going. They can go and do whatever they want. If they get shot down, I haven't got to fly the mission again. This is what I'm doing. Right. These two, so this is the river here. Where the fog is. So you can see Bayer. This is the two. The Bayer's over here somewhere. Here, maybe. Let's see it. Is that it there? the south of that airfield. Right, we've got plenty of altitude. 13,000 feet now, not too fast now. More interested in finding my way. Yeah, so that's definitely the river coming in there. Comes down between those guys there. Of course I don't want to go straight at the target because I want to dive in I want it off to be 45 degrees off to my right I'm not sure the target. Good call. Let's come round on the river down. We want it off to our right anyway. There's the train in the station there, we can see it. Right, I'm going in. Three thousand RPM, I'm bringing my throttle down. As steep as I can get. There's the target there, I can see the train. Put it on the right hand track. Triple D at bullseye one, one, two for three. Contact near the fence for you. Five o'clock. Four five. Got to idle. Three. Running in. Four. Running in. Two. Running in. Right, let's 
get these babies. 5,000 feet. This is Transport Blue 2. London in sight. Dead ahead. Bombs away. This is Transport Leader. Roger. Yes. Full throttle. Stay low. Jink. Engine temperature's good. Know that we're supporting them. Don't worry, guys, we'll be back. Back to Blighty. We're bacon sandwich and a cup of tea. Whoa! Whew. Right. Throttle back. 2,700 RPM, 46 inches of manifold pressure. Right, let's turn away from the coast. Right, let's get my guys to rejoin. We're here to bomb. Transport aircraft, rejoin. Nothing more. I want to get killed taking out air defense hey, targets. Matt, Roger. Rejoining formation. Flight. Join up. Rejoin. That is exciting. Be on about zero one three, something like that. Sweepstake, this is Acorn Leader, engaging eight one zero nine north of Kane at Angels Five. Over. This is Sweepstake, Roger. Transport Leader, flight heading zero nine zero, and enemy flight has been spotted north of Con. Acorn is already engaging with eight Mustangs. Over. Transport Leader to Sweepstake, Roger. Bandits north of Khan, turning 090, over. 090 it is. Let's have some. Right, they get some altitude. 090. They're only at Angels 5, but... Let's get as much advantage as we can. While we remember, swap over fuel tanks. Temperatures, pressures are good. I'm 
not over through the fat lady signals guys. Hill, the bandits. See anything just yet? You know, just turn on my gyro just in case. Come out wherever you are. Oh, where are you? TV.
heading home for Blighty. One thing you certainly haven't got a shortage of in the Mustang is fuel. Well, with that sun low, it's going to be a bit harder to see the airfield. You can see this beachy head. Here. Gorham should be around to her nose. Yeah, there it is. We're going to be between the two. Right, where are we? It's about 12,000 feet. We'll just start. Ending. 2,000 feet a minute. Good. Misty as well. Just adds to the fun. Sun's going down. No pressure. Coming through 10,000 feet. I don't want to get too low because I want to build up bird's eye view that chance to see in the airfield. Right, so there's shore on there, that distinctive spit of land. And obviously that's beachy head. So we could be spot Hang on in the middle, We're heading north ish. So get to the little bit. That should take us over the airfield. 
Let's switch to what well, firstly let's tell our guys to RTB. Transport aircraft to RTB. Get out. Roger, returning to base. Lights to RTB. RTB. Right, good, they're all doing that, so we need to talk to the tower, listen to the tower at least. Ask for permission, hold them with inbound. The approach radar, the approach. And we've asked them or, or informed them that we're inbound, so we just wait for the tower to talk to us now. Nice bit of uh, low cloud. Transport leader to sweepstake, check him out. Returning to base, over. Dive down under this cloud. The airfield is just on the far side of this ridge here. Four hundred miles an hour. But it's not getting any lower than this. Four three fifty miles an hour. Throttle back in. We bring our manifold pressure down to the limits there, report, which is a manifold pressure in the aircraft. Good. Low sun, look at that. Contact tower. Springfield, one, one. Request landing. Tally airfield. Excellent. So we're going in on zero five. I think let's just see what heading we're on now. I think zero five is okay, so we're downwind. Maybe not. Gonna break. Yeah. Okay. Got the bearings. Get perpendicular. Flare, green flare coming up. Look at that detail. Fabulous. Love it. Absolutely love it. Got all to idle. Ten degrees of flat. A bit too high. How's the feet? That's what we want. Look at my airspeed. The dark it's getting. Oh, it's scary. Two hundred miles an hour.
listen to that engine just ticking over. Right, 20 degrees of flat. Gear down. In transition. 30 degrees of flat. All flaps. Flare coming up. That's good. And 20 miles an hour over the threshold. Gear is down and locked. On 20 mile an hour. We have a left crosswind. Not really see. Overrated anyway. Well, I'm well happy with that. Over yet. Fly these tail draggers till they actually stop. Bit of brakes, little bit of brakes, little bit of brakes. Just get off the runway. To the left here, bring our flaps up. That's exciting. Right, guys, I'll see you at the parking area. Really hard to see, guys. I think I'm in the right parking spot. Got the reckon of our man now. A bit round. Hopefully, can't see. Sort of get it back in the middle. No, we're not doing too bad. Not in the middle, we can see that. Might be better. Right. Let's have a look. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll take that. Because very very difficult to see we've just got back before that sun's gone down so a stressful mission but successful bombs on target excellent all right guys hope you really enjoyed that don't forget to like and subscribe it'll really really help me out and i'll see you in debrief all right okay guys let's see what we can see so we've got 100 percent score i've got nothing which is always uh nice um i'm sure i did destroy some ground targets yes right so here we go so i got all these hits here i'm really really happy about happy about we'll have a look on the uh attack view hi right, guys welcome to the debrief okay so we take off as you saw we orbit the field three thousand feet five minutes Make sure everyone's on board by using the F10 menu. And then we head off south to our target area. Okay. So I let my guys go and run their own attack. I use these two airfields, if you remember from the briefing, to point me at the target. Which works really well. So I come in here, my guys got to go up here. Now the reason I don't go over there, as I said to you before, is the flak. There's a load of flak over here. And they go quite near it. So this is a good position here, just to come follow that river down. I'm flight lead, so you know I'm going to decide what's going on. And how I prosecute the attack. So I come in here. Let's see how I did with my bombing. So I was 100 mils down. Up a little bit. 
little bit of uh, AAA coming up. Right, so my bombs are off now. Now I want these guys here. They're the ones I'm after. Let's see how we do. It's all a learning curve. Right, so I'm just off to one side. I do hit one. It does do a bit of damage there. But as we saw on the um, results, actually get a load more stuff. But could be better. It's a little bit long. So I'll aim a little bit um, sort of up further up the gun sight in future. And I just need it to be lined up a bit better. Um, but apart from that, it was okay. And then I escaped, stayed low. Not triple A. But just weaving, stayed low, and uh, headed north. Now this is where the next problem was. I just realigned the map north. So I escape over the coast. A little bit of flak there that I flew right over. My guys are with me. So then I get the call. So I'm like, right, if this was real, that's it. We've dropped our bombs, we're off. So I get the call. As you will see when I turn... About here somewhere to head east to Can. Zero nine zero. There we go. Right. For your information, uh, Can is over here, just to the east. It's actually on the map that I pointed out. So you know, I, it's a bit of a pain. For me, um, I've, I've whizzed all the way down the down the river as you saw, uh, and as we'll see here. So I whizzed down there, merrily on my merry way, till I got near the edge of the map and thought, all right, I'll come back. And then I sort of thought, well, I think Cam actually be might be down here, which it was. There was a big dogfight going on, and even when we come back over here, even though as you saw, I was having a really good look, there were BF 109s, and I might have been on this airfield here. You know, so it might not have been in the air anyway. But nevertheless, so when you fly the mission, guys, just bear in mind that when you get the call to 090 to CAN, it's 090 from AER to CAN, and CAN is around there. So there we go, it's all a learning experience. So then we head back on our merry way. We go between Shoreham and Beachy Head, Shoreham there, I should say, and Beachy Head with those distinctive features. And then we come in, um, and I was pretty happy with the landing, to be fair. Just slow that down. Sorry for that bit of butter in there. Doesn't get much better than that for me. Well happy with that. Alright guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Wrinkle out.